Well, guys, I got something, and it's big. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm here today to basically talk about the new, the one, the only, the beast, Canon EOS 90D. This thing is so epic. I mean, check this out. Here it is. I got the nifty 50 on it right now. A little bit of extra feature stuff. This thing is the beast. This beast shoots 4K uncropped. Okay, hear me out. 24 frames a second and 30 frames a second. But not only does it shoot 4K uncropped at both of those frame rates, it also shoots at 120 frames a second slow mo. That's four times slow mo. This is the beast. This is probably Canon's DSLR feature right here in the nutshell. Pretty sure it's the last DSLR. Crop sensor too. And though that is a crop sensor, it technically already has a crop on it. However, there are other cropped cameras such as the SL3 that has, or even, let's go as far as to say the mirrorless M50 has a 4K radio as well. Both of those run, I believe, 4K24, but despite the fact that they do, both of them are cropped and they don't have Canon's dual pixel autofocus. This has dual control focus at 4K on crop. That to me blows my mind. So for a cropped DSLR to have uncropped 4K above even the R and the RP line, this is what's going on. This right here is the beast. Now why is it called the beast? It could be the beast because of what I just said about the 4K and the 120 frame rate. Probably, that's partially it. It's also the fact that it is completely weather sealed. So obviously compared with a weather sealed lens, you're going to have the best bang for your buck, okay? This thing will shoot in any environment and it is <laughs> quite a bit heavier than the current camera I'm filming on the SL2. It is twice the size of the SL2, but it is hefty, it is ergonomically perfect, it is what I've been looking for. And yes, I know I mentioned it in a few videos prior, uh, Canon 80D over the RP that I was considering. I was, and then I fell on this with my eyes. And this does everything I'm looking for and more. So, you meant, I mentioned earlier that it has a 24 frame rate of uh, in 4K, as well as it has 24 frame rate in Full HD. However, the 24 frame rate in the Full HD and in the 4K only came with a firmware update through Canon. Luckily, it's been up for two years, and if you get a model that doesn't have a firmware update, go onto Canon's website, download it in your computer, and just throw it in, and it'll be done with no problem. This thing shoots up to 10 frames a second. That's another reason why it's called the Beast. It's not just weatherproof, and it just doesn't shoot in 4K on crop or 120 frames. It also shoots 10 frames a second, which is literally four to six frames less than the 1DX Mark II, which is an $8,000 camera. This is for photos and it is fantastic. It's got a bunch of buttons and dials on the back. For people that are beginning, I would not recommend this camera. Uh, unless you do your research ahead of time and you know exactly what you're getting yourself into because there's a lot of dials, buttons and stuff. Plus there's extra stuff in the menu. This also has a flip out screen so it's fantastic for vlogging. And it is the successor to the well-known ADD, the legendary ADD, okay? This basically took legendary this is probably one of the most advanced, uh, like the prosumer level cameras on the market to date. Under two grand for this camera. And it's compatible with over 300 Canon already used in like Over 300 Canon lenses. Alright guys, my camera's dying right now, so I really appreciate you watching this video. I hope that you really like this. And, um, if you're interested in the 90D, it's out there. Go check out Best Buy, Henry's, and a couple other places. And uh, we'll just see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.